back in our 2012 750li we just changed the turbo coolant pump on it also the pump for the ecu coolant uh whenever you're working on a coolant system you need to run a coolant system ventilation process now all you have to do to run this process is turn your ignition on press auto all turn your heat settings to 84 and have auto on minimum next step will be to press your accelerator pedal down for 10 seconds one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then release and your coolant pump should now be running I'll go out here and see if we can hear it also it's best to do this with the door already open because when I open a door it just shut everything off so just verify everything's still the same max heat on both sides auto on fan on the minimum speed accelerated pedal down for 10 seconds And you should be running. Now, you probably won't be able to hear it, but I can feel the water rushing through the hose. Every once in a while, you'll see an air bubble puff out of here. And I can hear a slight buzzing noise down there. That's what you should be able to hear. You should be able to feel the water rushing. Now, this thing has three pumps. So it alternates between them all. So it, I think it starts with the one down in that corner. Then there's another one down there in front of the fan. And then the one we just changed right here. But uh, whenever you work on a cooling system, just run this ventilation process. And uh, it runs for about 12 minutes. To keep it from going to sleep, you do need to have the low beam headlights on. Uh, some of these you don't. The last one I didn't have to have the low beam headlights on and it never went to sleep. Uh, but if you do have a problem with it going to sleep, you'll need to connect the charger and leave your low beam headlights on. But uh, this process runs for about 12 minutes. And then you uh, should be able to check your coolant levels and top them off. And that's it.